Hi everyone and once again welcome to the step function tutorial series. This is going to be tutorial number 4a. The reason for creating tutorial 4a because in the first part we learned the basics, second part we did hello world, third part we did retry, fourth part we did the catch block. So you might have a question, hey Sawmill, when you raised an exception in that last tutorial that was 4, why did it go to the task fail general exception? Why didn't it catch the the one that you wrote so this is the video i want to explain that okay so uh this video right here right so we said oops sorry so this is a lambda right uh, we are raising an exception called custom error right uh, a specific error that i'm raising so in my lab number four if you observe and we'll go to the source code shortly uh, so this is the retry block and here is my catch so we had a custom error right and we raised essentially a custom error but it never went to this one instead it went to this one uh, it went to a task failed one right so the question was Samil why did that happen right so here is the answer in the 4a so the way when you raise an exception right a custom exception Python essentially uh, raises the word exception custom error. That's the exact word. So to be precise on what, I, what I'm speaking, so monitor, I'll go to the CloudWatch shortly that I would like to show you. So what happened was in the last video, that is lab number four, uh, this error was not captured. So what I did, I went inside and I looked into the CloudWatch for exact word, okay? So I'll show you in a second. Uh, this should be this one right here okay so if you observe uh, here so if you observe the at here is the error and the error is exception custom error right so that's why in the 4a tutorial I had to add multiple arguments so I said look for the word custom error or exception custom error or exception if you see any of this branch to my custom state that I'm defining here right so now if I copy paste and show you how this looks like. So if you come to the state, uh, state machine, uh, this would look like this. Execute my Lambda function if something goes wrong. Go to my custom error failed um, callback, fallback, sorry. And then end the function else directly end it, right? So now I'm exactly catching that particular word, right? So, but remember you can write a generalized block. You can say task.all failed. That's much more better, right? So. Uh, with that being said, I'll try to simulate this and show you start. We start the step machine or state machine. Sorry, I, I keep saying step for some reason. So as you can see, it failed and now we did catch the exact error. So exception, we caught the exact error and here is the output of that machine, right? So this is tutorial number 4a just because if people had confusion in the previous one on why that did not go to a specific one i wanted to make sure that people do understand all my videos and tutorials are in a particular order one two three four so if you want to go back you can simply go to the link section and head over to the exact one so hopefully that will allow you to revisit a particular topic thank you so much for watching i just want to say a simple like would be much more appreciated these videos and uh, tutorial takes a lot of time and effort right creating labs editing the video takes hours and hours a simple like would make my day thank you so much for watching i'll see you in tutorial number five for learning branching statements okay